Hi everyone, I'm Katie Couric. I am a journalist, a mother of two daughters, and I'm a cancer advocate. Um, I've worked very hard to increase awareness and raise research dollars for colon cancer and really all cancers, and I'd like to tell you a little bit more about Stand Up to Cancer. <laughs> Hi, Nancy Spears with GenConnect.com, and today I have the privilege of talking to Katie Couric, who needs no introduction. Hi, hi Katie. Hi, Nancy. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. What I'd love to learn more about is Stand Up to Cancer and your organization. Well, what do you want to know? Okay. Um, <laughs> tell, me, tell me what inspired you to start it. I know the story a little bit, but tell me well, you know, when, what, how you started it and where it's at right now. I think, you know, when someone you love has cancer, I think the overwhelming feeling, obviously, is heartache, but it's also powerlessness. Mm -hmm. And when my husband was sick, here I was kind of a can-do person and I couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. And so after he died, I thought, what can I do to save other families the trauma and just, you know, terrible grief of losing a father or a husband or sister, brother, any, any close relative. And I realized I had this platform with the Today Show and I wanted to increase awareness. So I think I just wanted, you know, they say to whom much is given, much is expected. And mm -hmm. I had been given so much in terms mm -hmm. of professional opportunities that I wanted to increase awareness. And from that increased awareness led to my colon cancer advocacy work. And from that led to Stand Up to Cancer, which raises money for all kinds of cancers and uses social media, uses television to raise money, uses corporate partners, and um, basically provides a bigger pot to cancer researchers because the, the money for cancer research has declined in recent years. And we've got all these brilliant scientists, but they don't have enough money to mm -hmm. do their great work and to make these discoveries and to be behind these tremendous breakthroughs. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to increase awareness about prevention of cancer and also arm these incredible scientists with the funds they need to do the research that they are so incredibly talented to do. It's, it's so admirable and fantastic, really. So your secret sauce is really collaboration. Yeah, it really is, because nine women started this, including Laura Ziskin, a Hollywood producer who herself was battling breast cancer mm -hmm. until last year when she succumbed to the disease. Sherry Lansing, who's a powerhouse, mm -hmm. uh, you know, um, head of Paramount for many years and just a remarkable wom woman. And I think th through this collaboration, we all have individual networks mm -hmm. and it literally networks for me. I had access to net network executives um, and I could convince them to do this fundraising, mm -hmm. um, hour long fundraising show. Lisa Paulson, who's head of the Entertainment Industry Foundation and Sherry and Laura have access to all these Hollywood stars. So we had Gwyneth Paltrow and George Clooney and every kind of star you could possibly imagine take part in this fundraising hour on television. So I think, you know, it takes a village and then each village knows more communities and it's really a ripple effect. So I think that all of us working together, we could do so much. And then the scientists who get the money we raise, collaboration is a mandate, not a suggestion. Mm -hmm. And so they have to collaborate with scientists from all different institutions. And we think that will move science further, faster. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, it's, it's really exciting because I think they're making real progress. And I don't think they necessarily would if they were working sort of in their own insulated worlds and, and being in a more competitive environment rather than a collaborative one. Mm -hmm. So the ripple effect is really turning into a tidal wave. Um, how much money have you raised so far? <laughs> so far we've raised, um, with the help of a lot of our individual donors who mm -hmm. kind of go through social media to have a caring star represent a family member they've lost or who's dealing with cancer mm -hmm. and just people who want to donate. And then we have a lot of corporate uh, partnerships with Major League Baseball and MasterCard, but we've raised $180 million uh, to, uh, that we give to these scientists, these dream teams, and to scientists who have sort of out-of-the-box ideas mm -hmm. that wouldn't necessarily get federal funding or from a more traditional funding method. So, um, you know, we're really thrilled and, and we think it's going to really have an impact and we're doing our third Stand Up to Cancer telethon. Every channel okay, under the good, sun good. will be playing Stand Up to Cancer. So they'll be learning about it on their local, through their local listings to turn on. I just encourage people to get involved because 
everybody's affected by this disease. And, um, you know, we have all the technology to put the contents of the Encyclopedia Britannica on a microchip, and we should be able to come up with better, more effective treatments for cancer. Well, I totally feel your uh, passion. We want to support you in every way we can. Um, go to genconnect.com, um, donate to Stand Up for Cancer. We'll to put cancer. A link. Stand we Up yeah. to Cancer. We'll it's put a Stand link. Up. It's Stand uh, Up and then the number two, Cancer. And maybe okay. you can get the website. That would be great. Sure. So what is the website? StandUpToCancer.org. Okay. Yeah. StandUpToCancer.org. Number two. And number two. And GenConnect.com. <laughs> and please donate. And we'll continue to support you. Thank you. Thanks Thank so, you much so much for giving me a chance to tell everyone about it. You're wonderful. Yeah. Thanks.